Well, this is the Hilton uh, basement, and uh, here's my my vice. And of course, I was used to working on uh, metal, uh, overhauling engines and stuff like that on a bunch of old traps I used to drive. But uh, I decided just to move some of the tools out of my way here and start a uh, a sculpture for a friend. Um, he was a school teacher, and um, he raises apples and gives me apples and this and that and the other every now and then. And he asked me to do this for him, but uh, it's time I got back to doing something anyway, uh, art-wise. Uh, this is a block that's been glued together off basswood. It came in about, I don't know, it's an inch and a quarter. But it ends up at about 8 inches by 10 inches or so square. And I'll tell you in a minute what I was, uh, was going to do here. It's, this will go on a newel post. That's, a, that's the post at the bottom of the stairs. Uh, there's nothing there uh, now, but his son is redoing an old house. And he's wanting to give him a present for uh, Christmas, I think. I don't think I'll be through with it by Christmas. He might be wait till Christmas after next. But um, anyway, I put down some things to hold it. I created me something to hold the thing to keep it from moving around. And it just fits right in those notches. Now that thing does not move when it's there. Uh, some of the tools I'll show you. This is a dream on all these things uh, uh, you're familiar with, you people that, that do wood carving or sculpture. Here's some handheld tools. They come in handy. Of course, they're small and they're real sharp. I just bought these. I'm just kind of learning to use some of them. This Dremel, I've, I've used Dremels for years, and this is, this is good to do some of the fine work on it. Um, here's one that is uh, half uh, hanging here. They, it came with a hanger, and it has a shaft in here and a portable thing, and you control it uh, with a foot pedal down here. Now this will really eat on that thing. Of course you can't you can't go too fast uh, at, at sculpture. You'll cut off something that you need. So you you cut sparingly. If you have a big place to cut off and you're sure that you're not going to use that spot then you can go ahead and do some. Let me just tell you a little bit. That, of course, you would use that infrequently. Sometimes down in here, when I know what I'm going to do, and I, I, I'll carve that. It blows everywhere in here. I have goggles. These are safety glasses that you wear. I even have a mask. People say you ought to wear that all the time and cover up some of you ugly. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that or not. <laughs> yeah, they vote for me wearing that. Uh, but anyway, it helps. It just fogs in here. You can't see anything. But every now and then, it gets so bad that I just stop. I've got me a, a shop vac that I I go around and, and vacuum stuff and just suck up stuff so I can work a little bit. It wouldn't be long it just covered you up if you didn't do that. But anyway, I know it looks junky here, and you'll just have to forgive that. It's, it is half of it junk. But I know where every one of my little bits are. Now, I have some little runner wrenches here I use. Some of these, I know which one to even do that. After a while, you just remember where all your stuff is. But I try not to take, a, take one of these out of there 
and use it and not put it back in there because it'd get lost in all the stuff. You'd end up with it in a junk pile somewhere. Um, I bought this 120 piece set. It's a diamond burr set. 120 diamond burr pieces. And they're just of differing shapes and sizes, as you can see. Uh, golly, I'm anxious to get on to some of this detail here uh, with those. Uh, these are the bigger. These are the bigger one for this this set here, different shaped. But boy, that'll really eat it up. I like that thing just to get the big hard work out of the way.